Hello guys and welcome to a new lesson of the jQuery basics course of Praise Karate. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, I'm at Bastion Velandia. Follow us as at Race Karate, follow us on Facebook too. We are also in our website racekarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video and all our lessons. So make sure you are in the in the blog post of the video before you continue watching this. And finally, subscribe to our YouTube channel, you support us by subscribing, and of course, subscribe to our newsletter, we are sending one weekly email to you about how to create your startup, it's a great newsletter, so make sure you are subscribed to. Okay, so, let's start first. Um, in the previous lesson, we talked, um, we showed how we can use jQuery for manipulating elements, in a web page or in an HTML document. Well, this is called manipulate the DOM. But what is the DOM? When a browser reads an HTML file, it creates a kind of tree structure with nodes and edges. Each node can have more um, do nodes below it. I mean, uh, each node has children. That's the word. And each node represents an element in the HTML document. Well, this tree is called the DOM tree or the document object model. Well, this is a simple example of a DOM document. Um, uh, when the browser reads the, do the HTML document, it creates something like this. A tree that contains all the structure of the HTML. So you can see here the head tag, the title, and other things. We can see here the body tag. We have maybe an, a paragraph tab, a strong, and then those are HTML tags. And the way the browser generates this tree depends on the way you create the HTML document. The DOM can be queried from the code for find elements or information about the page. But the DOM is not only for consult information, also can be manipulated as we saw in the previous lesson. Nodes in the tree can be added or removed dynamically. The programming language used for consult and manipulate the DOM is JavaScript, but we instead you know that we use CoffeeScript, right? Um, historically, browsers did not agree about the way of manipulate the DOM, especially Internet Explorer. So, was there when jQuery shined because? allow us to ignore those inconsistencies making easier interact with the DOM. Although we can still use plain JavaScript for manipulate the DOM, at the end can be tedious. People still use jQuery because it is easier and for compatibility. Now let's try to play with the DOM using plain JavaScript. So here we am in the workspace of Cloud9 um, Let's open the workspace we worked in the, in the previous lesson, the CoffeeScript workspace. I'm going to open it. And once it loads, let's open the jQuery one that HTML file we created previously. Um, let's open it in the in a browser tab. So here it is, okay? So here's the businessman uh, going to succeed. With the line here, with the, the idea. So let's open the J, uh, the JavaScript console, inspect element here, right click, inspect element, and then go to the console here. So here we are in the console. I'm going to clean this screen. And let's, let's see how we can access the DOM using, well, the, the old way. How was the old way? If we take a look back to our tree, you can see that the root is the document element. Can you see? This is the root node, and actually this HTML is not. Well, let me show you what I mean. So the root is document, right? This is the root, so we can access to to the next tags in the HTML document that can be the head tag or the body tag. Let's let's go to the head tag, and within the head tag. We can we can see what what are thy childrens. 
I mean, we can see that it's children. So let's see. The children. Uh huh. Let's see what it prints out. And as you can see, we have an array with two elements. The first one is the title tag, and the second one is the link tag of the CSS. So we go back to the HTML. Okay. Uh huh. So we can see here the head tag. We have the title tag and the link tag. Those are the children of head. So that's what um, the DOM is structured. Now, for example, um, th how this is a r array, we can access elements of this array in the way, in the same way we do with a, in the normal fashion with another, any other array. Uh, let, let's see if we can access to this paragraph element. So you can see that it is the first one after the body tag. So I can say, I press the up arrow key for on the for bring the last line I typed. Okay, so document dot body, and I can say dot. Uh, okay, let's say the the children. And let's see it, the the children the children's of body tag. And as you can see here, we have a long array here with some uh, elements, and as you can see, the paragraph element is the the first element in the array so this is the the paragraph we we want so let's so how i told you we can access this array the same way we do uh, with any other array so i'm going to access the first element so body uh, children and the first item of the body children and as you can see here we get back only the paragraph element that we was looking for we were looking for sorry and um, well actually I don't want you to memorize how to access the DOM this way we can ensure that this document won't change so this is not a good way, a good way of manipulating the DOM and actually um, will be very tedious to uh, maintain code of this way so actually uh, modern browsers uh, support another way or another easier way of access elements similar to jQuery for example we can say here document and get element by class name then I can say here the name of the class you want to target in this case uh, warning let's get this p element with the that has the warning class as I'm okay let's see warning I'm, I'm not using the dot we use in jQuery because actually we are telling the, the JavaScript to go for the L to, to the class attribute that is this one so it already knows that it is a, cl it is a class type attribute so we don't know to to specify the dot it will be redundant here and as you can see we get back the same P or the same paragraph element okay however this way of access or interact the DOM is deprecated because um, we have different methods as you can see here uh, of access the different kind of uh, attributes of the HTML elements and sometimes it can be harder to memorize or it can be hard so um, and, oh, another uh, inconvenient with this is that it these methods are not supported in all the browsers so get element by class name is not supported but all the browsers um, there are many ways so well actually there are easier ways to to access elements using jQuery jQuery solves uh, all the problems with the DOM because it works in any browser and and it's so uh, I mean we can use the same CSS selectors for for target HTML elements in JavaScript. So, for example, you can see here we have the warning. Uh, we are selecting these. We can select HTML tags from the CSS. So this is pretty very familiar for us when manipulating the DOM. So let me show you. So the same way we did last time. As you can see. This, this is much easier than type all these and well this is more uh, this is more easier 
for us and it's very great because we are using the same selectors we use in CSS that which is amazing so that's why people prefer this way well for conclude or concluding we can manipulate the DOM using the old time JavaScript as we did here but it's much easier manipulated using jQuery so people still use jQuery everywhere okay so the next lesson we'll be talking about the ways to of include jQuery in our projects uh, we'll give you an overview of all the ways we can manipulate the DOM using jQuery so if you have doubts or wants to say hello don't forget to drop us a comment below here in the article you can drop us a comment here and don't forget to follow us in our social networks and subscribe see you next lesson